And now it's time for a segment we like to call So They Say. So they say the trend of someone leaving your life but still appearing in your online world can actually hinder your ability to heal. They've actually coined this as orbiting. So if a relationship has been severed in real life, why do people feel the need to keep ties on social media? Well, a clinical psychologist based in New York City says that as social beings, we have very voyeuristic and social tendencies. Experts say for some, keeping the lines of communication from closing completely may be a way of maybe holding out hope. So how does this hurt us mentally? Well, the mixed messages are definitely confusing, according to the experts. They say we may become more complacent in setting boundaries because you want to leave those boundaries open, you know? And it, it, they also say it can make the healing process harder. And one thing that they also mentioned that I really liked was they said, it's a term, it's called, um, this encourages confirmation bias. So if you say, oh. darn, they left me because I was too big or something like that, you go yeah. on their page and you look for something that actually confirms that. Like a girlfriend that looks just like you? Yeah. He, yeah. She, he left me because of her. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's stuck on the fishing. <laughs> no, that's not me. That, oh, okay. that, no, that really is, that really happened to a friend of mine recently oh, no. where, and that happens quite often, yeah. doesn't that? Doesn't that happen a lot? <laughs> look just like you. It's like, oh, they look kind of familiar. Yeah, but this, I can understand, it hurts. Why are you looking like that, Chesley? It hurts people. It does, I could see that. But you know what's also hurtful is when uh, you're, you're blocked. That oh, hurts. Yeah. So which one, which one would you prefer? Should you block? So that, we should put that out as a poll today. Should you block? Which one's better? Can I answer that, please? Yes. Do you, should, never should they block, join the block party? Never block anyone because when you start getting blessed, when you start getting blessed, you don't want to block them from seeing those blessings. <laughs> I, I promise. Wait, but what if, if they I'm, block if, you? If I'm hurt so that by you're not though, orbiting. You're, you're saying that we're, we're be being hurt by the person orbiting. Yes. So I need to block. I need to block them yeah. out to, to not be hurt by. And, and see, I say fishing because if they're around, you yeah. got to click in. You got to engage in right. social media. You can, you can see them. Yeah. But if you click in just to see, okay, are they dating? Yeah, you're, you're not you're able efficient. to move on. Yeah, you're, you're not efficient. able to move on. So you got you got to almost block them out or ignore yeah. their orbiting so that you can move on and heal. It's hard to or it's hard to avoid the orbiting. You know, you look at your Instagram stories to see who's been watching your stories, and here, there they. I have an ex-boyfriend from high school who keeps popping up and it, watching mm. my Instagrams. What you watching for? You're married. I don't. I don't, I don't You're think married. that's what orbiting. You, what you watching for? I think that's stalking. <laughs> that, that ain't orbiting. <laughs> From high school? But you see, no, I have contacts in high school from a couple of my, my old girlfriends that we're, we're friends now. We've all moved on. Yeah. They have families. I moved on. moved on. It's just a fun way of saying, hey, we're still around. But then there's the ones that do block you. You know who you are. Yep. Yep. I tried sending you a message. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. It was seven years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. It's hurtful. It's hurtful to, to be blocked. Hurts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here. You know who you are.